Today, we are here to talk about Jennifer Garner reveals how Ben Affleck's kids talk about Jennifer Lopez. But before we get started, subscribe to our channel to never miss any updates. So without any further delay, let's get started quickly. Hard to believe the fact, Jennifer Garner and John Miller's children are reportedly spending a lot of time together lately after being long apart through their parents' relationship. Us Weekly's news report revealed about the same. Jennifer Garner has had three children since her previous marriage to Ben Affleck. To be precise, Garner and Ben share daughter Serafina 12 and a Violet 15 and a son Samuel 9. Besides, Garner's boyfriend for his part also has two daughters, whom he shares with ex-wife Caroline Campbell. According to Us Weekly, Garner and Miller are now really getting stronger and more serious and beginning to officially incorporate their children into their relationships, Insider said on September 2. They are spending more time together, sources added. They have long separated children from their relationships, but now they are planning to incorporate more children. Garner and Miller, who started dating in 2018, split up temporarily in August 2020 after spending nearly two years together. The pair took different paths because Miller, a businessman and CEO of Cali Group, reportedly wanted to marry Garner, but he wasn't ready to take the next step. However, less than a year after the split, the two decided to rekindle the relationship and sources told Weekly in May 2021 that they had officially returned. Yes, you got it right. Meanwhile, Garner's ex has enjoyed his own rekindled romance ever since. Guess who? Of course, Ben Affleck. Everyone knows by now that Ben began dating his former fiancée Jennifer Lopez in April 2021 after she split from Alex Rodriguez. Earlier engaged in 2002, the pair dated 2001 to 2004 has already introduced each other to their children. The Lopez and Affleck families have spent a lot of time together in the last few weeks. In August, J-Lo and her children, 13-year-old twins Max and M, Affleck and his children made their family debut at Hollywood's famous theme restaurant, Magic Castle. Besides, Ben's mother also joined them at the venue, where they were all dressed in nine. Jennifer and Ben have been involved for a long time, so it's a natural step for them all to spend time with their kids, the insider told People after going out in August. They try not to hurry, but they want all the kids to know each other. They make the last few days of summer as enjoyable as possible, added the insider. However, let's dig into the history and find out the relationship timeline of Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner and see how they first got together to their breakup story. Summer 2000 Ben Affleck and Garner met on the set of the movie Pearl Harbor. Initially, in the summer of 2000, Affleck and Garner met while filming the movie Pearl Harbor. However, at this time, Garner was married to actor Scott Foley. Summer 2002 Affleck and Garner were reunited on the set of Daredevil. However, two years later, in the summer, Affleck and Garner realized they were working together again. Both were with others at the time. Affleck was dating musician Jennifer Lopez, but Affleck later said the set was where he and Garner fell in love. In an interview with Playboy, Ben said that he and Garner met on Pearl Harbor, which people hate, but they fell in love on Daredevil. Adding on the set, by the way, Jennifer won most of the fights in the movie, which was a pretty good predictor of what would happen down the road. My wife, holding swords and beating the living shit out of me. January 2003 Some people said they appeared to flirt at dinner for five, but at the time they were still with others. Precisely in January 2003, Affleck and Garner start in Dinner 4-5. Meanwhile, Garner was still married to Foley and Affleck was engaged to Lopez, but some spectators notice a spark hint between the two actors. At one moment in the episode, a vulture writer told Affleck that it gives Affleck such a genuine expression of gratitude and affection, but it's still a bit unpleasant to watch it on television. March 2003, Garner and Foley announced that they were quitting. A few months after the Dinner for Five episode aired, Garner and Foley split. No one else was involved, Foley told the television guide. Jennifer has become a huge celebrity. She has become a huge star and she deserves everything she gets. There was no other connection or unfaithfulness. People divorce, you know, he added. May 2003, the pair formally filed for divorce. 
Soon after the announcement of the separation, Garner filed for a divorce and made the division official. Garner later talked about his divorce with Allure in a 2013 interview, saying, We didn't have a shot. He is a nice guy, and we just imploded. January 2004 Lopez and Affleck called off their engagement. Almost a year later, MTV reported that Affleck and Lopez broke up. A few years later, in an interview with Vanity Fair, Lopez said, I lost my guts. I lost my senses and wondered if I belonged to this business. October 23, 2004, Garner and Affleck premiered as a couple. It wasn't until the fall of 2004 that Affleck and Garner were first seen together as a couple. They were filmed in the World Series that the Boston Red Sox was playing. November 6, 2004, Garner visited Affleck on the set of the movie Man About Town. Shortly after the World Series match that solidified their relationship, Us Weekly reported that Garner visited Vancouver's Affleck during the filming of the movie Man About Town. They were photographed walking together in the rain. April 17, 2005, the pair got engaged. According to People, Affleck proposed to Garner on his 33rd birthday, a few months after he kept their relationship mostly secret. June 29, 2005, the couple got married at a private ceremony. According to Entertainment Weekly, Affleck and Garner performed four rituals for their marriage. Victor Garber, co-star of Garner's Alias, held the wedding and he and his husband were the only guests there. It was an incredible honor and one of the most special events of my life, Victor later told Entertainment Weekly about the wedding. I will never forget it. It is embedded in my heart. December 1, 2005, Garner gave birth to the pair's daughter, Violet. Affleck and Garner became parents for the first time in December when Garner gave birth to her daughter, Violet. January 6, 2009, the couple's second daughter was born. In early January of 2009, Garner gave birth to the couple's second daughter, Serafina Rose. February 27, 2012, Garner gave birth to their third child. In February 2012, Garner gave birth to the pair's third child and eldest son, Samuel Garner Affleck. January 2013, Affleck thanked Garner after receiving the Golden Globe Awards. In 2013, Affleck nabbed the Best Director Award for his work on Argo at the Golden Globes. In a speech, he thanked Garner saying, I adore you, I love you, you are my everything. December 2013, Affleck said Garner was the most important person to him. In an interview with Playboy, Affleck talked about Garner and said, She is by leaps and bounds the most important person to me. June 27, 2015, Affleck reportedly took his family's nanny, Christine Uznyan, to Las Vegas, but his officials denied the two were romantically involved. Us Weekly proclaimed that Ben Affleck left a vacation with Garner and took the family's nanny Christine Uzunian to a charity poker tournament in Las Vegas in June 26. Later in July, the magazine stated that various sources verified that Affleck had been dating 28-year-old Ozonian. Affleck's rap, however, adamantly refused the reports. The story is completely garbage and full of lies. A rap for Affleck said of Us Weekly's report that Affleck and Ozonian struck up a relationship after Affleck and Garner were separated but before they announced their divorce. It's shameful. We are considering legal options. Later that month, Garner and Affleck announced they would divorce. Affleck and Garner published a statement about the divorce to People magazine a few days after the nanny report surfaced. It reads, After much thought and careful consideration, we have made the difficult decision to divorce. We go forward with love and friendship for one another and a commitment to co-parenting our children whose privacy we ask to be respected during this difficult time. This will be your only comment on this private family matter. Thank you for understanding. March 2016, Garner talked about their division in a frank interview. In an honest interview with Vanity Fair, Garner talked about her split with Affleck. She said, We had been separated for months before I ever heard about the nanny. She had nothing to do with our decision to divorce. She was not a part of the equation. Bad judgment? Yes. She added that he's the love of her life, saying, What am I going to do about that? He's the most brilliant person in any room, the most charismatic, the most generous. He's just a complicated guy. 
March 2017, sources claimed that Affleck and Garner had stopped divorcing. Almost a year later, an unnamed source told People magazine that Affleck and Garner had stopped divorcing even though they hadn't returned together. Nameless sources said they really wanted to work on things and tried it again. Later that month, Affleck announced that he had completed alcoholism treatment. In March, Affleck posted on Facebook to discuss alcoholism and treatment. The actor wrote, I have completed treatment for alcohol addiction, something I've dealt with in the past and will continue to confront. I want to live life to the fullest and be the best father I can be. I want my kids to know there is no shame in getting help when you need it and to be a source of strength for anyone out there who needs help but is afraid to take the first step. I'm lucky to have the love of my family and friends, including my co-parent Jen, who has supported me and cared for our kids as I've done the work I set out to do. This was the first of many steps being taken towards a positive recovery. April 13, 2017, the pair formally filed for divorce. Garner and Affleck filed for divorce almost two years after they divorced. TMZ reported seeking legal and physical custody of three children. This was all about it, and, and on that note, that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit like and subscribe to our channel, Peeper. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section.